to the ingredients for this pasta salad. If you have seen my first pasta salad video, the ingredients I'm using this time are a little bit different. So I will link my old video down in the description box if you wanna check that one out. But today I'm going to be using um, three medium sized tomatoes. I'm going to uh, cut these up into little bitty dices. Uh, I'm going to be using some real bacon bits. This is the reduced sodium bacon, um, real bacon pieces. I have one cucumber and I'm going to peel this cucumber and then dice it up. Today I'm just using some diced ham. Um, sometimes I go and get it from the deli and dice it myself, but today I'm just going to use this pack of Smithfield, um, diced ham I'm going to be using some salad supreme today I'm gonna be using about two ounces of medium cheddar if I need some more I do have some that I can shred up but I think this is going to be enough for the amount that I'm making today of course I have my noodles now my noodle of choice is always the garden rotini if you want to use Penne pasta, if you want to use spaghetti, however you want to use your, um, whatever kind of pasta you want to use, it will be okay. Um, and you can still use my base recipe. And then today, uh, I was in all these, so I am going to give their Italian dressing a try. Usually, I stick to the Kraft Zesty Italian or either the Great Value brand. Um, that's the Italian because it tastes just like craft. So I'm going to give this a try and then I'll let you know how I like it. So without further ado, we're going to hop right into getting these vegetables ready um, to put this pasta salad together. And this is a super, super quick recipe. Uh, just make sure that you cook the noodles al dente. These are fully cooled. Um, cook them al dente. So about eight to 10 minutes. Um, so now let's hop into the uh, rest of the process. All right, so I am going to start by simply peeling this cucumber. Um, if you want to keep the peel on, you totally can. Um, however, I prefer when I use cucumbers to peel them. Now, in my last recipe, I used bell peppers. Sometimes I use bell peppers. This time I just felt like switching it up since I was doing a new um, recipe. So if you're interested in seeing how I do it with the bell peppers, then check that one out. I also have one that's a Greek pasta salad. I use a Greek dressing and feta cheese and all of that good stuff. So if you want to see the Greek Salad. If you want to see my Greek pasta salad, then down in the comment section type, I want to see that Greek pasta salad. And I will definitely, definitely get that done for you. The chicken salad recipe that was done earlier today was a request from a subscriber. So you can always request any video that you want to see in the comment section. Or you can email me and I definitely try to oblige those requests. So I am just going to cut this cucumber down the middle like so. Oop. Apparently I didn't cut it all the way through. Maybe missed that cut a little bit there, Nancy. I was too busy running my mouth. So we're gonna get that cut down the middle. And then the part of the problem is I'm cutting in a way that I don't typically cut trying to get an angle. So I'm just gonna turn this around and I'm gonna slice it uh, in half and then in half. So in essence, in fourths. Again, I don't want huge chunks of cucumber. So now we're just gonna take that knife and dice them that'll get them fairly small all right so once I get done with this 
I will be back to show you how I'm going to cut my tomatoes. Now that I'm done cutting the cucumbers, I'm just gonna dump them over in my bowl. And now we're going to cut our tomatoes. Sometimes I use cherry tomatoes. In my last video, I actually used cherry tomatoes. Um, but this time I just decided to use the tomatoes on the vine. So it just depends on kind of the mood I'm in. But if your preference is cherry tomatoes feel free to use those like that's the cool thing that's one of my favorite things about pasta salad is that you can pretty much put whatever you like in it now <clears throat> you'll notice that you don't see any onion um i am probably gonna put a little bit of onion and garlic powder in this I should have put it in the original ingredients. Y'all know I'm so bad about that. Sometimes I'll start cooking and start thinking about like what I need to add to something. I try to have all of my ingredients laying out, but you know, things happen. All right. Um. So yeah, I'm probably definitely going to add some onion and garlic powder though. Because I do like the flavor that the onion powder gives it. I just don't like raw onion. But you can definitely put you some red onion in your pasta salad if you like it. If you like olives, you can put olives in your pasta salad. Sometimes in the Greek, um, in my Greek pasta salad, I'll put it in there. Even though I'm not a huge fan it makes it look super, super pretty. So, I'll do it sometimes. I should have used my other knife. Um, this one is sharp, but that other one that I have cut like butter. And that knife was, at, the other knife was actually sent to me by a company um, and I was trying it out to see how I like it. And I absolutely love, love, love that knife. So, um, missing, if you are watching this, I love your knife. Definitely feel free, um, to reach back out anytime. Um, but this knife is a... Um, J.A. Hinkle's knife and no, I'm not being sponsored by them. I bought this particular set <laughs> with my own money. Um, these are some exceptional knives as well. I will link a set of these down off in the description bar if you're interested. So, um, you know, check them out. They're pretty economical. Um... And it's a whole knife set. So, whatever. I don't know why I'm talking about these knives. I'm not getting paid to talk about these knives, y'all. I'm just using it and wanted to talk to y'all about them. <laughs> so, there you go. Alright, so those are our three tomatoes. Pasta salad is so quick and easy to put together. All right, so now I'm just going to stir up the um, cucumber and tomato. I'm going to go ahead and dump my pasta in here. All right. And then I'm going to dump the diced ham in. You can use... Um, diced ham, you can use turkey, you can use whatever you want in your pasta salad. I am just using ham today. 
The reason why I really like to use the bell pepper is because it make you know it brightens this salad up really really nicely. Um, but because I peeled that cucumber, you really can't see the color that would have been generated by the bell pepper. All right, so now we're gonna add in our bacon bits. And these are the reduced sodiums, so they're not, you know, so it doesn't get too, too salty. I'm gonna go ahead and dump that whole pack in there. These are actually my favorite bacon bits too, y'all. Like I just, I love bacon bits. And these are so awesome. All right. So now it's time to go in with some of our Salad Supreme, onion powder, and black pepper. So make sure you check the description bar because I didn't have the onion powder and black pepper out at the very beginning. Um, I would say go in with about a fourth of a tablespoon and then work your way up from there. The Salad Supreme, you can start with about a full teaspoon. Um, I typically use about a tablespoon. I'm going to give it a good shake because it's kind of settled down because I don't use it a lot. I only really use it for pasta salads. So I'm gonna go in with like a tablespoon of that stuff. All right, and now we are going to give our Italian dressing a good shake because you know how the zesty Italian separates from each other and we don't want all the oil in our pasta salad and then all of the other seasonings to be somewhere else. Oh, and the size of the box of pasta I used was a 12 ounce um, box of pasta. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in about a cup of dressing. And then I'm gonna give it a mix. And you can make this as wet as you want or as dry as you want. I'm serving this tomorrow. I'm gonna take this to work as well. So, I'm going to add just a little bit more dressing because I know that overnight it, the pasta will absorb some of it. And I don't want to be serving dry pasta salad. Alright, so now I'm going to take that two ounces of shredded cheese and disperse that in there. I love me some feta, but I had this cheese, so I decided to just use it. But I love, 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 love me some feta cheese. And ladies and gentlemen, your pasta salad is pretty much complete. We're gonna go in and make it a little pretty. All right. Mix that parsley up in there. And then I'm gonna get a tasting spoon so I can give this a little taste and see what it's looking like and I'll let you know if I decide to add anything else. After my little taste, I'm gonna add just a little bit more Salad Supreme, about a half a teaspoon, a little bit more black pepper, a little bit more onion powder. All of those can be to your taste, so what you like. And because I use that diced ham and the bacon, I have absolutely no need for salt all right so ladies and gentlemen i am not gonna hold you here this is a new version of my um old pasta salad recipe i'm gonna go ahead and link 
you uh, the old video in the description bar just in case you want to check that one out. Um, I hope you like this recipe. Let me know what you would like in your pasta salad. Um, I'm always, you know, curious to see how other people like theirs. And if you're interested in seeing that Greek pasta salad recipe, make sure you comment down below. I want to see that Greek pasta salad. Um, until tomorrow, uh, again, thank y'all so much for your support. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, neighbors.